welcome to the Cups of Consciousness show. I am Alea Dow, your host. I'm a doctor of oriental medicine, a sound healer, the author and founder of the Seven Cups of Consciousness. I have produced nine sound healing albums and have recorded over 2,000 meditations online. I am an energy practitioner and help people shift their consciousness using their energetic fields. And this show is all about using your energetic fields to shift your consciousness as well as exploring energetic concepts that help you create a more empowered and connected life. This episode is an energetic session that explores concepts, energetic practices, and protocols that are similar to a prayer, which help you transform particular aspects of your life. When you listen, recognize that some part of you is using your energetic fields to shift your vibration, which in turn shifts your consciousness, your behaviors, your beliefs, how you react and respond. You might even go into an altered state, so use caution if you're driving or doing something that requires a focused mind. With all of this work that I present, remember that it is your energy shifting you in your own unique way. That way you stay in control and empower with your process. So take a deep breath in, pull yourself into your line of light, and explore your inner terrain in a safe and supported space. Let's dive in. The tall cups of consciousness with Alea. Whenever we do energy work, the very first process is to create a safe and sacred space so that you have the capacity to receive the energetic information in a way that serves you and supports you. And remember, it is you shifting you, your higher self, your body to his higher self, your team, all staying in integrity, alignment, and personal responsibility with your process, your awakening, your growth, your transformation. We invite you to take a deep breath in, to use your inhale, your intent, your imagination, your higher self and energetic fields to pull yourself into an inner river of light that flows up and down the front of your spine. Call it the divine line. It's your saddle where you ride. And as you use your inhale to pull yourself in, Use your exhale to ground into that place. To firmly attach to the front of your spine, to the degree that's comfortable for you. And as you hold your awareness in your divine line, you move into the present moment instantly. For only in the present can we shift, grow, heal, awaken. When we call forth the Ascended Masters, your guides and advisors to encircle you in this safe and sacred space. We acknowledge the presence of the enlightened nature kingdom, the whales, the frogs, the fairies, the squirrels, the birds, the tree people, the rock people, the tree people in Native American Traditions are known as standing people in some tribes. And the swimming people, the flying people, the sitting people would be the rock people. The essence of earth to gather in this safe and sacred space. And as we create this safe container, we invite you to connect to your own healing source your own spiritual power. We invite your higher self, your body to his higher self and team to work with your energetic fields and the guides to connect with your divine spark, your body to his divine spark, the divine spark of your team members. Each one of them has a divine spark in the heart of source where you are hooking up to that divine part of you that does exist in the heart of source where you do express yourself from to connect with all aspects of your being in all dimensions where you express yourself. We ask that these intentions are held in the energetic fields, clarity, balance, support, discernment, gentleness, grace, ease, inner strength, courage, determination, and any other intentions you wish to bring in for yourself. So as we create this safe space, we are ready to dive in 
And in these tall cup sessions, I never have an agenda, an attachment of what we do. I'm simply in the moment looking at what we as individuals and as a group are experiencing, looking at the energetic weather that's coming onto the planet. And I do try to make the tall cups timely, but also timeless. And a few days ago, we moved into a new Chinese year. This year is the year of the fiery rooster. And when I tune in to the essence, the energy of the fiery rooster, there is a greater level of passion, motivation, creativity, follow through, courage, strength, fierceness that we have the capacity to tune into, to tap into, to access that we may not have before. If you feel like you've been in a lazy apathy, can't get anything moving, well, it could have been that the energy for the last several years was slower, deeper. We're now moving into a cycle where there's this fiery, passionate, intense vibration. Now, the good thing about this fiery, passionate energy is that it can burn off all of the old ways of being. The fiery rooster also brings into our conscious awareness everything that's been hidden underneath the carpet. I think of it as like the carpet pad is now being seen and the nails that hold the carpet pad are being pulled up. And so it's uncomfortable. And so I'm just going to bring in a protocol to help us orient to this process that we're going to be in for the next eight, nine, ten months. October is when we start to feel the shift into a new year. And if I could create a calendar that really tuned into the energy and the cycles and nature, granted it would be the Northern Hemisphere calendar, but we would begin a new year in March and we would end the year in December with that solstice. And then there would be an in-between time of January, February, in between the beginning of, in between the end of a one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And we are actually, we still have one more month of this in-between. So that can create a little bit of anxiety because we don't quite know how we are going to move forward. And a new cycle begins in full bloom, March, April, May, we are fully in it. So let's bring in an energetic protocol to help you align for what we are currently in so that you can decrease the anxiety, the stress, the overwhelm, the confusion, disorientation, cultivate greater clarity, connection, empowerment. We invite you to take a deep breath in to again, hold your energy and awareness in your divine line. As you hold your energy and awareness in your divine line, Just hang in that place and invite some energetic part of you, your higher self, to work with your energetic fields and the guides, to energetically locate all of the old energy, old ways of being, grids, templates, fear, behaviors, belief systems, addictions, unhealthy patterns, Looking for perfection externally, issues of self-worth, lack of self-love, feeling not enough, fear of abandonment or loss, all of that stuff that's been coming into our conscious awareness as an individual and as a group. We invite you at the level of your higher self, your body to his higher self and team to energetically locate those vibrations and to use this fiery energy to dissolve it. just take a moment. And again, this work is not with the mind. Let your higher self, your body, Davis, higher self, and your team, each one of you individually have your very own grids or ways of being that you are ready to dissolve, to use the fiery energy that's coming onto the planet this year to transform them. Interesting. And what I was just shown uh, by the angelic realm is that when we are in a discordant way of being with something or a particular belief system that is limiting. We are holding our passion 
in a distorted way. We're not running our passion in the right direction. We're not angling it appropriately. And so with all of those discordant ways of being that some part of you is wanting to shift at this time, we invite your higher self, your body to his higher self and team to work with the energetic fields and the guides to heal, recalibrate, realign your passionate, creative currents through all of these ways of being, these energetic grids, to bring all of these ways of being into greater states of coherence, connection, balance, harmony, co-creative, empowered, connected, strong. And this is far beyond the mind, body to the nature spirit. And work with your energetic fields and the guides to redirect, to heal, to recalibrate your passionate creative current through all of your grid systems, to recalibrate how you are in the world with yourself, with others, with material objects, food, exercise, yourself, for a healthier way of being by redirecting, healing, retrieving your creative, passionate current. It's really aligning that passionate current for a higher vibrational way of being. And that passionate current can get distorted really quickly. But when we do this protocol, it helps bring that passionate, creative energy into alignment. There it goes. We invite your team at the level of their higher selves to work with their energetic fields and the guides to energetically locate all of their grids, all ways in which they perceive themselves, interact, engage in all dimensions where they express themselves, and to use their passionate creative energy, heal their passionate creative energy, redirect their creative passionate energy in a healthy co-creative way in the right direction, divine direction, to support them. Good. So you, your body team, all redirecting, healing, recalibrating that creative, passionate current. Each one of us has a creative, passionate current. If we don't feel like we do, we definitely have not been streaming it in a healthy way. And so that protocol will help you stream your creative energy in a healthy, supported, connected way. So as that piece integrates, I'm being shown the back of the neck, the occiput, the jaw, the shoulders. And it's almost like what's going on on the planet right now, that stress, overwhelm, upset that a lot of people are in. It creates this pulling our shoulders up and kind of going into a fear crouching, stressed stance. And, ah, interesting. This is actually more of a body deva piece. And what I just was shown is that when the body is exposed to lots of inner or outer changes, its automatic default response until we train it to do otherwise is to go into survival mode and fear. But when we're in that survival, or rather when our body is in the survival mode and fear, our immune system drops, our microbes come out of balance, the neck and the shoulders get really tight, we lose clarity, the mind starts to race because we're trying to figure out how to get out of this fear response. And again, the fear response happens when the body is exposed to lots of energetic changes, outer and or inner. And we are in a time of transformation on the planet. And we will be in this time of transformation for like another 200 years. So I want to help our bodies handle this intensity in a bit more of a gentle, graceful way instead of clicking into survival mode. And so I'm just having a conversation with your body, Deva, of what are its needs. And I hear it needs connection, it needs safety, it needs control, it needs power. And so if it has those things, then it feels actually like it's thriving in change instead of 
struggling to survive in the energetic change. So I'm going to now be speaking directly to your body. So often we get over identified with our body. We think we are our body and our body starts to think that it is the sole rider, but we're actually riding in a nature spirit, a physical human form that has a consciousness that's linked more with the consciousness of earth. And so I'm going to invite you soul rider just to take a deep breath in, hold your energy and awareness on the front of your spine and your divine line. We invite your body, divine nature, spirit, physical human form, body, divine nature, spirit, at the level of your higher self, work with your energetic fields and the guides to energetically reference that some part of you is in fight or flight survival mode. If you're a little stressed, a little overwhelmed, a little confused, a little frustrated, irritated, whatever those discordant emotions might be. And as you energetically reference your process, whatever that might be to all of the energetic changes, inner and outer, all the changes that are happening in the outer world, we invite you to now consciously energetically reference you are in survival mode. Embodied of a nature spirit, being in survival mode is a little inefficient. It's not really getting you what you want. You are searching, you are questing for a different way of being. We invite you, body, deva, nature, spirit, at the level of your higher self to work with your energetic fields and the guides to activate your needs in your divine line. Don't use your physical human form or your mind for that. Use your higher self, your energy fields, your divine line that runs through your spine. Activate the vibration of safety, connection, control, power, clarity, support in your divine line, your divine cosmic loop at the level of your higher self. Body, divine nature, spirit, get your needs met in a more empowered, supportive, efficient way. This is where we're all heading. There you go. A little more. And then all of those old ways of getting your needs met by being in survival, fight or flight, fear. What would happen if you let them go? Or turn it down. Maybe it's at a one or a two instead of a ten. And the healthy co-creative meeting needs internally is an eight or a nine. Because fight or flight is good, especially when it's truly a physical situation where you need to respond appropriately. Pull hand away from fire. Do not cross street in front of car. Those are good things, Body Deva. Hold that. But then, with all of the energetic change, instead of looking for your needs in the outer world, Meet them internally. Okay, so there's another layer coming up with this. So your body of a nature spirit is activating the vibration of safety, connection, power in its divine line. But the body div is telling me to go a little deeper, so give me a minute. Fight or flight, survival. Okay, so why does the body go into fight or flight when it's exposed to change? Because it doesn't know how to be in this new environment, new situation. Okay. So body to a nature spirit at the level of your higher self. Work with your energetic fields and the guides. To energetically uh, reference the change, the good change, the light change, the love change that that is coming onto the planet. And to calibrate your higher self your energetic fields, your chakras for this higher vibrational way of being, for this change that is coming. Align yourself for the change. Align your microbes for the change. And what we're going into is amazing and lovely. Now, for some people, that process is a little messy. We don't want to be attached to the process. We want to be attached and focused on where we're going. Not where we've been, not what we're doing to get there. I'll go into that more later. And then as your body, Deva, nature spirit starts to meet its needs in its divine line and align for the change, I can feel the neck and the shoulder starting to relax. Mm, Interesting. And then the tunnel of light opens at the back of the neck. I think of the tunnel of light 
as an energetic USB port for your higher self and your body to have a higher self to pattern and reprogram your physical experience for a higher vibrational way of being. But if our USB port is closed, we can't access the information from our higher self and repattern and program same for the body. And then the mind starts to race and run like a gerbil on a wheel. And so I'm inviting your higher self, your body Davis higher self to clean, clear, open, align, recalibrate, and infuse your passionate creative current through the tunnel of light, inserting at the back of the neck and to place appropriate energetic filters at the back of the neck and at the top of the tunnel of light for balance, health, harmony, divine orientation, divine clarity, divine interconnection for you and your body deva. Also inviting your higher self, your body deva's higher self to pattern your tunnel of light, to hold the conscious awareness and the embodiment of your spiritual gifts, wisdom, and mastery. Here we go. Good. And then we invite your body to the nature spirit to balance the electrical and the magnetic frequency within the central nervous system using its higher self, its etheric self, body deva, not your physical form. The body just said, I do not fear change. I'm aligned to it. And so body deva nature spirit, you can keep using your higher self, your energy field, to keep aligning yourself for that which is to come so that you are balanced with it and you are meeting your needs deep inside. And as you meet your needs deep inside, your outer world reflects that to you. There is a level of support and abundance and flow. So with that peace that the body's bringing in, you and your higher, your higher self, your body gives higher self, cleaning your tunnel of light, I'm seeing another layer, and this is a layer that um, I sit with on occasion, and it's the thinking we never do enough. And I just saw it at a body level, and I'm, I'm looking at the body and all of the things the body has done and does do, and there is a lack of recognition and appreciation that the body is holding of not fully recognizing and appreciating all that it has created. And so if the body isn't taking responsibility for recognizing everything it's created in the physical dimension itself is like number one, then the body brings forth this, no matter what I do, it's never going to be enough. And then what happens is it keeps us in this place of physical lack lack of intimate relationship, lack of money, lack of physical health, lack of the ability to manifest that which you desire in the physical dimension. So I'm going to invite your body to the nature spirit. This is a big one. Deep breath. You soul rider, just hold your awareness in your divine line on the front of the spine. We invite your body to the nature spirit at the level of its higher self to work with its energetic fields and the guides to take full responsibility for recognizing everything it has ever created in any dimension, including the physical one, in all of its incarnations. And to also hold responsibility for appreciating, valuing, being in gratitude for everything it has ever created or done in every dimension where it expresses itself. All the moments it's healed itself, created a magical miracle, created a moment of happiness, blew a bubble, drew a picture, got up in the morning and made tea. Body Diva, you're amazing. Everything you've done, that we, the soul writer, as an etheric being of light, we can't do. Not we're not physical beings, you are. So body to nature spirit hold responsibility for valuing and appreciating everything you've ever created. And then cultivate deeper levels of appreciation for everything you have ever created at any point in time in any of your incarnations, all of your incarnations. <laughs> Thank you. 
little light language. And kiona ita hina hiya ta hainihi, aroe na hi ta oe na hi ta haia, awe a ni hu ta ya kuya te ya anu ya ta ya 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 anu. And the yo ya ni anu wa a ya ka hini u ya 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 Sometimes the body responds to light language faster than English. And that light language translation is really inviting your body to stand in its power, to recognize that it's this amazing nature spirit, and to remember its unique consciousness that's in alignment with the nature spirit consciousness. The tree never wonders and wants and yearns to be bigger or smaller or wider. It just is. There is this self-acceptance. And so we invite your body to a nature spirit to align itself with this state of self-acceptance that is embedded in the nature consciousness. Embodied in a nature spirit, if you're holding any level of consciousness that is not this self-acceptance, we invite you at the level of your higher self, your body to this higher self and team to send it back to whomever it belongs to, along with all relevant and appropriate energetic information. Clear all empathic sensations and all karma that link with that empathic sensation, behavior, belief system. Updating all grids, all reference points. We're going to just take a, a moment to let all of that integrate. And what I'm seeing is that so often we place our attachment for our life in the physical dimension. And then the moment we get attached to what we're doing in the physical dimension, then the next moment we lose clarity. And then when we lose the clarity, we lose a deep inner connection with ourself. And when that happens, we then lose connection, conscious awareness with our gifts, our wisdom and mastery, and why we really came here into this world. So If we actually are more attached to what we're doing on the other side in the higher realms in our etheric form, we maintain a clarity, we maintain connection, we continue using our gifts, our wisdom and mastery at a vibrational level in these higher realms. And then that dimensional experience that we are fully attached to, focused on to a certain degree, and embodying in this higher dimension reflects appropriately into the physical one. So let's bring in a protocol to help us serve from a place of clarity so that we're in right action, right order. We are in the position or we draw to us, manifest, create an appropriate reflection of what we're already doing in the higher realms that is of incredible service. So when there is chaos and confusion in the physical dimension and things look like they're falling apart, some part of us goes into anxiety because we're experiencing that change and then we want to move into action. I'm going to invite you to move into action in the higher realms and then there will be a ripple reflection guidance that will come into the physical dimension that will then move you into the appropriate position for right service in a healthy, co-creative, balanced, supportive way. Deep breath in. We invite you to hold your energy and awareness in your divine line. We invite your higher self, your body, Davis, higher self, and team to work with your energetic fields and the guides to energetically locate the dimension where you, your body, and team are all serving at 100% in the most beautiful, powerful, amazing, limitless way. Really let go of your mind's need to know what that looks like. It's a vibrational, energetic experience. Your higher self, feel that. I'm just inviting my higher self to feel that dimension where all day long, 24-7, I'm just simply making a particular tone to balance and stabilize. It's a lovely realm. It's so effortless. When you're in your wisdom and your mastery, There is no effort. There's just the expression of passion, your creative current. At the level of your higher self, body to his higher self and team, 
energetically locate that dimension where you are serving, where you are fully in your passion, your wisdom, your mastery. And whatever you do here in the physical dimension is a small reflection of what you're doing up high that you love. You might love to draw. Well, you might be drawing grids up high. You might love to sing. You might be singing up high. You might love to laugh or play. You might be doing that, sharing and spreading that light. Here you go. Now, as you energetically locate that dimension where you are serving in a way that's in total alignment with your wisdom and your mastery, we invite you at the level of your higher self, your body to his higher self and team to hold 98% of your attachment nuggets for your service, for being an individual of impact, hold it in that dimension where you are doing it at a hundred percent. Totally attached to it there. And then you can hold 2% attachment here in the physical dimension of how you serve, but knowing that it is simply going to be a reflection of what you're doing already up high. We invite you at the level of your higher self, body to his higher self and team to energetically receive how you are being of service in this higher realm. Move into gratitude, appreciation. Feel the magic, the expansiveness, the power that's a thousand times bigger than it could ever be here in the physical realm. Hold your appreciation in that higher realm. That attachment, that focus, that appreciation, that receiving creates the reflection and the ripple into this one, into this physical realm. Good. Breathe. And when we're really attached to that work we're doing up high, we are then seen more. Just a moment ago, vibrationally, energetically, you could feel my light body shining brighter, coming out, i.e. rippling and reflecting. So you might look differently to yourself. The more you see yourself in this joyful, passionate, masterful, humble, gracious, higher dimensional reality. And again, when you're doing this work, you want to let yourself energetically feel it, imagine it, try not to think it, allow yourself to perceive it beyond the mind's awareness. So I'm just looking, and the guides are sharing another layer. So we have our attachment for being of service there. And then inviting your higher self, your body, divis, higher self, and team to begin to ripple the appropriate reflection and to calibrate and align your heart, your heart chakra for this level of service that is in total alignment with your capacity, your wisdom, your mastery. So that your heart guides you in terms of how to serve. And I was having a conversation with the guides a few weeks ago, and they said, imagine that none of us are attached to changing the physical dimension. We're only attached to changing the higher realms and moving those higher realms into greater states of coherence and love and balance. The physical dimension immediately starts to feel that ripple. And so we are in a time where there is a very old carpet pad lifting off. The carpet has been ripped off. Now we are in the carpet pad removal stage. And we will be for seven, seven, seven to eight months, six, seven, eight months, carpet pad being pulled out. So all of the emotions that people are in that's actually all of this these old emotions that were held unconsciously now coming to the surface for change and transformation and uncomfortable emotions like anger and fear and upset and stress and intolerance. It's very uncomfortable and it actually awakens people. So many of you prior to the talk up today asked how you can be of service in a healthy, co-creative way, sustainable way, spiritually enlightened way. And 
I personally think that one of the most healing things we can do is to model the solution inside ourselves and in our life, live a life that is the answer to the challenges, live a sustainable life um, in every area, sustainable meaning financially sustainable, sustainable for your peace, your balance, your, your natural state of being that you want to cultivate. So there's the physical component of modeling a life that is balanced to others. And then there's the energetic component. So even if you're an activist in DC, you would want to be attached to you holding self-acceptance, self-love, um, compassion, humility, grace, while you are in action. If we project what we value onto others, then we take responsibility for them, then we disempower them, then change doesn't happen. So I'm just going to take a few steps back. So the sustainable, healthy way of serving. Recognize that what's happening on the planet is an energetic grid carpet pad, gunky old carpet pad lifting up and off the planet. It's dirty. It's messy. So if we know that carpet pad is being lifted off the planet, the most powerful thing we can do is to hold a safe, loving container for people to be in their carpet pad removal process or for you to hold a compassionate space for yourself as all of these old energies and emotions and unhealed moments come to the surface for healing. How do we hold a safe, compassionate space? We first need to recognize that we as individuals and or individuals out there are courageous. We are determined. We are determined to awaken and we will do whatever it takes to awaken to a deeper level of connection within us using inefficient, uncomfortable mechanisms most of the time at this point in time in the evolution of the planet. But if there is one person for every 100,000 people holding a safe space for everyone to go through their uncomfortable emotions and, and anger and upset and fear, one person holding that safe space then the person or the group starts to roll around in their upset. They start to feel it at an even deeper level. And when they feel it and roll around in it at a deeper level, then they start going through the process. Whereas if we judge their process or we try to get them to not be angry or not be fearful or intolerant, we actually take responsibility then for their process, that we disempower them, we slow their process down. And so there's that piece of seeing that they are courageous, holding a safe place for them to roll around in their emotions. We don't need to soothe our anxiety to fix them, to change them, because we're already finding our soothing deep within. And then there is another layer to this, and that is to recognize where the soul or this group of souls is headed. So we are keeping our eyes on where we're going, not where we've been, not what we're in, but where we're going. And so just imagine that 100 years from now or 200 years from now or 2,000 years from now, it doesn't matter timing, that we are all living from a place of self-love, integrity, kindness, respect, because each soul has cultivated that deep inside themselves. We are at this point in time in the evolution where there are many souls that have not yet cultivated self-love, so it's absolutely impossible for them to have love for others, to have acceptance for others if they don't have acceptance for themselves. So let's bring in that energetic protocol and really feel what it's like to hold a safe and loving space, see where they're headed, no responsibility, no judgment, no attachment, only attached to your own vibration flowing in your divine line, doing your work in the most beautiful, powerful, amazing way in a higher dimension, and allowing that to ripple, reflect, and direct you in this one. Deep breath in. We invite your higher self your body to this higher self and team to work with your energetic fields and the guides to energetically locate these higher dimensions where you are serving in the most beautiful, powerful, amazing way, fully in your wisdom and your mastery from a place of grace, humility, gratitude. 
holding your attachment in that higher realm. As you hold your awareness up there, we invite your higher self body to his higher self and team to recognize that there are many people who are in a place of upset right now. Lots of discordant vibrations, emotions, thought forms, and behaviors coming to the surface for transformation, for healing. We can only change that which we feel and see. If it is hidden, we cannot see it. We cannot change it. We cannot heal it. We cannot bring it into a healthier way of being. So if there is an individual or a group or a country or the world, just imagine holding the safest, most loving, compassionate space for them to use their upset as their awakening agent. It's okay. Roll around in it. Feel it. Dive into it. Become even more aware of all of these emotions and thought forms and belief systems you're having that are upsetting. We're saying that to the individual or to the group. Not attached, not judging, not responsible. Don't need to change it. Just need to hold a safe and loving space for people to be in whatever they need to be in for their own growth and evolution. It's their mechanism, their awakening agent. Let them have it. Let them roll around in it in a safe space. You're holding that safe space. We're all holding this incredible safe space for people to be in their upset. And or if you're in a place of upset, invite you from the future as an ascended master to hold a safe and loving space for you to be in your upset. And as you and or this individual or group feel this safe space, they start to open. You might start to open to receive more energetic information from these higher realms where we are holding a more connected, coherent way of being. We're able to receive energetic information from ourselves in the future where we are holding a more connected, conscious, self-loving way of being. Only when we're safe do we open to receive information and different ways of being. And then at the level of your higher self, body, Davis, higher self, team, energetically reference where each one of these individuals, this group, this planet, you, where you're headed. You are headed into a reality of greater divine connection greater self-love, greater embodiment of wisdom and mastery and gifts that you value. That's where we're going. Be attached to that. Hold safe space for others as they awaken to that reality. It's a slow and steady process. The safer we are, the faster we heal. Getting all of your grids, all your reference points. So I'm just scanning the terrain and I can still feel a little bit of tension at the back of the neck. All of this change, energy coming in from above, is creating a certain amount of energetic pressure, which can cause headaches, immune imbalances, stress, overwhelm, anxiety. And I've looked at this layer before in previous talk ups, but I want to look at it again from a different angle. So give me a moment. Okay, so we're getting hit with a ton of energy. Buffer. Yeah, the team. All right. So this piece that I'm seeing actually has to do with your team and your guides, and they actually could buffer you more. So your team are beings. They are not fragments or segments of you, different parts of your personality. They are actual beings that exist in another dimension, just as real as you. Your guides, same thing, beings of love and light. And I'm going to invite your team at the level, your team and your guides at the level of their energy selves to work with their energetic fields and the guides to energetically reference all of the energy that's coming onto the planet, all of the change, all of the transformation, all of the releasing, all the downloads, and to calibrate their energy in a way that they actually absorb it, integrate it, assimilate it first 
even almost like above your higher self. So if they have to use their higher, higher self, when we're in the physical dimension, in a physical body, oh, okay, clarification, correction. Team, you can buffer the energy, but body, deva, nature, spirit, team. So I didn't really write about this in my book, Seven Cups of Consciousness, because it was an insight that came in after the book. And I don't talk about it too much in the daily cups, but your body diva has a team as well. And when our body has a hard time integrating these downloads, these shifts, changes, transformations, and quickenings, the body diva's team needs to be a stronger, bigger buffer system. And so we're going to invite your body diva's team to recognize themselves and huddle around your body deva, etheric, body deva's etheric form. And your body deva's team, they may be like an eagle and a whale and a dolphin and a wolf and a cheetah or a leopard or a fish or a fairy or a leprechaun or an elf. And so we're inviting your body deva nature spirit to connect with its team that it may have forgotten about. You have a team. Your body deva has a team too. And your body deva's team is another resource your body deva can use. And so as your body deva's team comes online, we invite your body deva's team at the level of their higher selves to work with their energetic fields and the guides to create a stronger buffering system for the body deva to absorb these energetic downloads, to integrate them, assimilate them, and then positively impact the body so the body can balance for these energetic downloads simultaneously. Being positively, empathically impacted by your team, Body Deva. Bump up your team. Buff buffers, bigger buffers. And then team of Body Deva, hold your very own unique natural stance inside yourselves. Meet your needs internally in your own divine lines too. Personal responsibility, energetic integrity. And only be attached to the vibration flowing in your own divine lines and your own energetic systems. Model that to the body deva. Good. Buffer, buffer. <sighs> Better. And again, the body relaxes a bit more. Also, we're inviting your body deva's team to balance their energetic microbes, their systems, organs, meridians, glands, to positively, empathically impact your body deva. It's etheric form, and then that healthy etheric form of itself gets reflected down to its physical self. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as I see your body, Deva, we're starting to get pretty full, so we're going to complete here in a moment. But as I see your body, Deva, getting buffered by its team, I hear the word responsibility. When we get stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, there's two pieces that I'm seeing that come up. And one is when we're holding responsibility for something that isn't ours or we're out of timing with a process. So if we get really stressed and anxious, now we're, we're not holding a strong, coherent field that could positively, empathically impact others. We're also then not tapping into our higher dimensional self that's balanced and on fire and um, fully engaged in our wisdom and our mastery. And so with that, I'm just going to invite you to think about what you, your body, and your team might be stressed about right now. Now, there are things that are your responsibility, and when you only hold responsibility for your pieces of the puzzle, your cog of the wheel, everything flows. But when you get your fingers in the energy that isn't your job, it gets really messy really quickly and you'll experience anxiety, overwhelm, confusion. So we invite you at the level of your higher self, your body to his higher self and team to work with your energetic fields and the guides to energetically reference what you're stressed about for yourself individually and globally. And to return those responsibilities appropriately. 
If you're stressed about money, that's actually your body div's job. Let your body div hold it. If you're stressed about body div, if you're stressed about how you express your creative energy, maybe you're holding responsibility for the soul writer and you need to give that responsibility to the soul writer and you, the soul writer, need to hold responsibility for how you stream your creative energy in your divine cosmic loop. I know, we're getting really full. One last piece. So as you, your body, and your team return those responsibilities appropriately, we invite you at the level of your higher self, your body to his higher self and team to gently release the anxiety, the overwhelm, the confusion, the disorientation, up and off of all systems, components, and levels of your being. Clear it out. And then if there are aspects of your life that you are stressing, we invite you at the level of your higher self, body, Davis, higher self, and team to energetically connect with those aspects in the appropriate time continuum to work on them there. And then when you arrive at that time moment, you have clarity of how to move forward. You hit the button play when you hear play or stop or pause. So bringing all aspects of your reality into right timing. Balancing and stabilizing. The angelic realm, your guides, your team, your body to his team, your spiritual family. They are so real. They're just as real as you are here in this physical world. They're just not maybe seen by our actual eyes or heard with our actual physical ears, but they're so present and the veils are getting thinner every day. And there are dimensional merges that are happening. And yes, it's a little messy, but we are in an energetic remodel. And so all of this stuff is coming into our awareness, but light is blooming and change is happening. We're just in the demo phase. And so the more we can focus on where we're going, laugh, because that is the sound the angelic realm can hear most clearly. Laugh in your requests, laugh in your protocols, laugh in your prayers. Laughing gets their attention way more than a whine. So keep it laughing, keep it light, focus on what you're doing in the higher realms that is absolutely beautiful and amazing. Utilize the resources that you do have access to in the higher realms by simply requesting that you get more help up there in a healthy co-creative way, modeling right energy, sending information. You are a powerful being of light. You do a thousand times more than you could ever imagine, billions of times more than you could ever imagine. We ask that you are wrapped in sheets of rainbow light, you, your body, and your team, gently sealing these vibrations in to whatever degree is appropriate for your spiritual evolutionary state. We are in deep gratitude for being of service to you in this way, for reminding you of your incredible wisdom, your mastery, your capacity. Let it be so. Aho. You have been listening to the Cups of Consciousness show with me, Alea Dow. Receive a free month of the Cups of Consciousness. Go to sevencupsofconsciousness.com. When you get your free month, you will get five cups a week for four weeks. You'll also receive access to a live tall cup of consciousness session. Feel free to review the show. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Aho.